and we are going. Cool. Okay, so we'll see if more people jump in. Otherwise, we're just going to be fast here. Um, I'm going to set a timer for two minutes. Uh, we're just going to move around, get warmed up a little bit. You can uh, air jump rope. You can do, I don't know, back and forth sprints. You can jump up and down. You can just bounce around. You can shadow box. I don't care. As long as you're moving, I'm just going to do some in-place jogging. We have two minutes. Oops, I'm setting the wrong kind of timer. Here we go. We got two minutes. Just move around. Get the blood flowing. Um, this is a good warm-up for the ankles, too. We're going to be doing some jumping today, some kicks. Um, uh, again, Wednesday we did... Oh, what did we do Wednesday? Uh, hook kicks. We did all uh, hook kicks as setups to our cheat kicks, our tornado kicks. Um, so today is going to be a kick day. Uh, last week we did a lot on our hands. We had... Uh, we did our scoots, we did our uh, cartwheels, we did the handstands, all that fun stuff. So now we get to move away from the hands, move on to the kicks. Sorry, I'm going to go ahead and start this timer over um, so we can actually get warmed up. Here we go. Okay. Uh, well, we got a minute. All right. We got like a minute and a half. Let's keep warming up here, bouncing around, moving around a little bit. Um, so with our kicks today, we have our cheat kicks, we have some pop kicks. Um, just like last week where the combo is a little bit more up to you guys, a little bit more based on your skill level, what you, how you want to chain things together, which moves you like better. Um, that's going to be what it's going to be like today. I'm going to give you two new kicks to think about. Um, they're going to be a little bit higher level kicks, uh, but I'm going to show you ways to work into them, ways to cheat them a little bit. And... Uh, ways to insert them in your, your combos, like today's combo. But, um, goal of today is to create your own unique kick combo. Um, something, I don't know, kicks you like, kicks your level, uh, transitions you like. Um, I was hoping Robert would be here. I was going to show him all about the different ways he can go in and out of his tsunami. Um, setups for kicks, using your hook kicks, using your round kicks. Changing your levels, we might get into some of our um, our sweeps because they are technically kicks. There you go. So keep moving. We're gonna go just ten more seconds, real quick. Um, so uh, your level changes, your jumps, your spins, your pops versus cheats, your grounded kicks, your jump spin kicks versus your jump uh, like one eighty kicks where it's not really turning your back. And go ahead, freeze right there. All right, so um, again, we got a lot to do. We got a lot of kicks to cover, a lot of kicks to talk about. I do talk about kicks probably forever. Um, so let's go ahead and stretch out just a little bit. Um, wherever you are, I'm gonna start standing, move on to where we're sitting. So I'm reach my hands up, take a deep breath, and reach down, exhale. Good, and we're gonna hold it there. Kind of reach side to side a little bit. Even though our feet are mostly together, I am going to keep looking to make sure uh, we don't have people trying to get in. Good. Now I'm going to take my feet just a little bit further apart and I'm going to reach back down in the middle. Um, I'm just going to reach it side to side, kind of swing myself back and forth. Um, you can reach through, you can turn, you can twist the whole way over. Um, you can stretch up the back a little bit. Whatever you need, go ahead and do. Again, I'm not stretching for you guys. You guys are stretching yourself. We're going to need some extra hip stretches um, just because of the nature of the class. More kicks means that I need to do more stretching because sitting all day, being home all the time is not doing anything good for my hips. So let's go ahead and bring our feet together um, real quick. We're going to stand if you need a wall for balance or whatever. I'm going to pull one foot back here, stretch out the top of the leg. Um, this is our forms week, so doing lots of leg workouts. My uh, quads, thighs, whatever, they're pretty tight. You can switch legs just super fast right here before we even sit down. Pulling that back, making that feel good. Um, and because we are going to be jumping, we're going to do a quick calf stretch. Um, I'm going to show you against this wall so you can actually see. All I'm going to do is I'm putting my foot up against the wall. I'm going to lean back, or wait, what am I doing? Hold on. 
right here. I'm pushing into it, I'm trying to get my toes as far up the wall as I can. So it's pulling my foot back. All right, it's kind of weird to do against the wall. If you got stairs, it's pretty easy or easier. But right here, just pushing that, stretch out the calf. I can switch legs super fast. Push right there. That's a real good calf stretch. We work our calves a lot, especially when jumping. Um, you got all that push through the toes, which I talk about all the time. Um, that's all your calf muscles there. So stretching those is real good. Uh, let's go ahead and have a seat. And let's take our butterfly stretch. It's a good one to start with all the time. Nothing too hard. It's good to ease and open hips. There we go. And again, you can use the, the elbows, you can use the hands, kind of push those knees apart. And once you're comfortable, you can take the chest forwards. Good. Oh, that feels good. I'm gonna take my left foot out, for right foot, one of my foots, one of my feet, foots, um, foots. Oh my goodness, man, I am going crazy. I'm just talking to myself all the time at this point. I'm forgetting the words. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reach down. Uh, in my left and right, I said left, and I stuck my right foot out, but I mirrored, so it looks like a left foot. So maybe that was on purpose. Um, put one of your feet out, stretch it a little bit, taking that chest down. Reaching for that heel and go ahead, switch legs. Reaching down. Oh my goodness, taking that chest forward. Try to get that nose down to your knee. And bring it back up. Oh my goodness, I'm going to take my feet up both sides. I know that. Uh, if it's like Mr. Evans, Ms. Sanchez, them stretching you, uh, whenever they sit down, they always go here first. Uh, I like doing butterfly and then each leg out and then coming here um, and then taking my chest forward because I like getting that extra hamstring stretch before I even sit to stretch my hips just because it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit less painful. Um, but again, stretching routines are pretty unique to everybody as long as you hit the good ones, the good stretches. You're doing good. Um, again, as always, uh, I'm trying to say this more. If you if you need certain stretches, you do what you got to do. Um, I go through my stretching routine. Especially, I do a little bit more for kicks versus uh, if we're doing a week with no kicks or a class no kicks. But do what you got to do. Stretch out what you need to stretch out. If one of your legs is feeling tighter than the other, stretch more on that side. I uh, just don't want to be pulling anything. I'm going to take that chest down one more time. Really reaching this time and bring it back up. Uh, let's go ahead and roll up to our frog stretch. Right here, pushing the knees out and rocking your chest forwards. You can kind of push it forwards and backwards a few times. And the last time forward, make sure you're trying to keep those toes together in the back and push it back. And that's good. Bring it up. Uh, real quick, let's stretch up the shoulders a little bit. We do, um, I know kicks are generally all with your legs. You want to stretch out the hips, the hamstrings. But I always like stretching out the shoulders a little bit too. Um, just because when you're doing this, you do a lot of pulling, you do a lot of twisting. You use your arms a lot when you spin and jump and kick. Um, so doing a little bit of shoulder and arm stretching is real good. So I'm going to take it to our child pose here. I'm going to sit the whole way back of my feet and I'm going to reach my hands forward and stretch. And this is a great back stretch too. Never hurts to stretch out your back a little bit more. Good. And let's bring it up. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take it to our kneeling position here and I'm going to push my hips forwards. Really stretch out that back hip, back uh, quad. Um, you can start hands your hips here, hands your knee, hands up if you want to go like full yoga, doesn't matter. Um, try not to lean too far to the side as long as you're staying nice and straight up and you're focusing around that back hip. So lean it in just a few more seconds. This is a great way also to warm up your split stretches without having to go straight to your split stretches. It's the same stretch as my side split. 
and I'm taking the other side, or switch legs, whichever one. Um, and then our, your frog stretch is a real good warm up to your middle splits without doing your middle splits. Uh, push your hips open. Um, oh, shut out those hip flexors. And it's much better than just drop it straight in your middle splits. Even though some of you guys can do it, some of us cannot. So, there we go. Last little push. All right, let's do our splits super fast. So middle splits, side splits. Uh, make sure to keep yourself in a line, especially on the side splits. I'm not there to scoot your feet into place. So, uh, check yourself. Let's take our middle splits. So feet out. Push your heels out. Make sure you're not sitting too forward. Make sure you're not sitting too far back. I want to be nice and in line. My hips should be right in line with my knees and my heels. And push it out. Yeah, it feels good. Let's go ahead and take it to one side, left or right, doesn't matter. Straighten out that back foot. Make sure it's not coming out at a weird angle. I don't know if you can see that there. Hopefully you can. And stretch it forwards. And then once you're comfortable, if you can, point that front toe, make it nice and pretty. Keep your hips in line, keep your shoulders in line. And let's take it to the other side. All the whole way across. Push out that front foot, point those front toes. Check your back foot, make sure it's in line. You need to kind of scooch a little bit. Go for it. Let's hold this one for a few seconds. Perfect, and let's go ahead and stand it back up. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go, that feels good. Let me get a quick drink. Um, I know, so I got one person in my Zoom call here. We're gonna have a good time, but for everyone watching this on YouTube, I'm gonna talk to you guys just as much as I'm talking to my person in my Zoom call here. Um, but you guys, check your areas real quick. Make sure you got plenty of space. We're doing some kicks. Make sure this, you've set the ceiling setting to as high as it goes. Make sure you have some headroom. Um, yeah, I know. You, you got plenty of space. Don't worry about that. Um, I got to stay on like one side of the room because I got this weird little overhang here. Um, so let's go warm up our kicks. We have a back leg round kicks. We have reverse hook kicks. Um, is that somebody? No. Nobody yet. That's fine. All right, here we go. So back leg round kick, reverse hook kicks. Um, again, making them comfortable, starting low, getting them a little bit higher. I just tossed my timer over here, thinking I wasn't going to need it. Uh, I want to just do a minute of these. Uh, I don't really want to warm up any jump kicks, because we're going to get right into it in just a second. So, we have a minute. Um, in three, in two, in one, and go. Back leg round kick, reverse hook kicks. Um, set them up. Make sure, I know these aren't the most technical Taekwondo kicks, but you're still bringing them across. Um, in tricking, your chamber is important, right? So I can get a snap on my kick, but my refold isn't quite as important, especially on round kicks, since your round kicks tend to set up my next kick versus my hook kicks um, are a good finisher. Um, they also set up, but... It's a good finisher, bringing it around, it looks nice and strong. Um, a lot of big moves finish in those hook kicks. You have all your hyper hook kicks, um, crescent kicks coming across, um, you can pop threes, that kind of stuff. There you go, we got a few more seconds. So keep bringing them around. Last one. I am done. Good, all right. So we have those. Again, I don't really want to warm up our jump kicks necessarily. We're going to jump right into this combo. Um, again, this is going to be more on you guys. There you go. I'm doing good on time. So, goal for today, I'm going to talk about two quick two quick kicks. To, that's going to be our warm up to our jump kicks uh, without doing our jump kicks. And then, we're going to jump right into the combo, all right? Um, I'm not setting too many rules for this. Last week I said... Start with the round kick and the hook kick. In the middle, you've got your choice of scoots, cartwheels, hook kick, palm kicks, whatever. And I think I wanted at least two moves. So you had four moves. Week before, 
I told you I wanted a pop kick, pop kick, whatever. Um, this week it's just going to be, I want four kicks. Four of any kick, all right? On, um, let's see, on, what was it, Wednesday, we did uh, we did a short little combo as practice for our transitions or tornado kicks. We did a uh, hook kick to our tornado kick to a hook kick to a, or cheat kick, hook kick, cheat kick, hook kick, cheat kick. Um, we're going to build off of that. But instead of having it set up like that, you're going to pick four of any kick. Grounded, not grounded, drop down, sweeps, jump kicks, back kicks, uh, spin kicks, cheat kicks, whatever you got. All right. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's warm it up a little bit. Let's go over the two kicks I want to talk about. It's going to be our cheat seven double, which is a good way to work on your cheat 720. And then we have our, I'm going to call it a swing uh, 360 round kick. I think that's correct. Um, I think there's probably a few different ways to call it. Um, I'm going to do one of each super fast. Um, I'm going to start. My swing round kicks are pretty ugly. It's a really awkward kick. I'm going to show you how to kind of get into it a little bit better. Um, what it's going to be is off that back foot, like that hop over hook or the tsunami. I'm going to do that, but instead of adding that hook kick, I'm going to swing up, turn the whole way, and round kick with my swing leg. All right. So I'm going to do one of those. I'm going to do one of my cheat seven doubles. Uh, I'm going to adjust this so you can see a little bit more of the floor. Um, so you can see the footwork a little bit better. Um, and then I'm going to talk about each, and we're going to jump in this combo. It's probably going to be a shorter class. Um, there's not much to do. You guys know your kicks. Uh, I just come out and string them together, all right? So my swing round is going to look like this. Bring it up, swing, round kick across. Again, this one's going to be more of a setup because I've got that big spin, uh, not this nice, pretty stuck kick. And my cheat seven double, which is coming across, it's using that outside crescent kick from our cheat setup where we did our tornado variation, but I'm going to continue through and get a second kickoff, hence 720 double. I'm doing a 720, but with two crescent kicks. Um, I think that this might be an easier way for some of you to pick up your 720s. Instead of having to come up, do your spin and kick, you can use that kick to pull you into that second kick. All right, so I'm going to do one of those. It's from a cheat setup, two kicks, coming out of that crescent, so up, Kick, kick, ooh, and don't slip your toe on the ground. Um, so I'm gonna, let's warm those up a little bit. I'm going to talk about both the setups, and we're going to get kicking. So for the swing round, if you have a nice hop over hook, you have a nice tsunami, that's all you're going to need. So bringing up that back leg is going to swing up. Now, I talked about this on Wednesday. Um, for your hop over hook, it's coming across more to set up that nice, flat hook kick coming across versus um, especially like when I do my tsunamis I tend to swing up use the arms and pull across that nice like crescent circular hook kick look um, the swing round kick is gonna have to do half and half because I get to get around but I'm not just chambering because then I'm not I've got no spin to make it the whole way to my round kick so I can come up and swing it across to be able to spin and still pull that round kick out without setting that foot down. So to practice this one, we're just going to work that setup step. Again, this is going to um, count as our warm up to these jump kicks. Um, so my left foot's forward. I'm swinging my right leg. I'm going to step up. Um, I know we talked about this one too in our combos. When you step up with these swing kicks to kind of accentuate them, and it kind of helps you get that height, get that spin without going too far to the side where you're moving too far. So I'm stepping up. That back leg is going to swing up. And as soon as it comes past my other foot, I'm going to turn my hips, roll, and pull in. All right? doesn't matter how far you get. I just want to get you guys comfortable with this. So stepping up, swing up till it's past my base leg, pull across, and turn. All right? And then you just add a little bit of jump. So up, turn, jump. And that's when I pull it into my chamber. All right, so when I step up, I'm swinging up past that foot, turn the hips around, and if you can see, that's where I hit my chamber. All right, if I do one, if I face this way, I'm swinging, turn, and I chamber the opposite direction as I'm turning so I can pull around to that kick. All right, that's where you're gonna actually spin. 
and that makes sure that you're not just coming up, setting that foot down and going for that hook kick that we're also used to. So I'm coming up, around, and I gotta pull it to that chamber to get that round kick the whole way around. So try some of these. Even just working the spin is gonna be really good for you. Um, but again, this one's awkward. We're so used to doing that hook kick. Off of that, just switching legs and hook kicking versus having to swing to a full 360 off of the wrong foot. If we're doing 360, you guys are used to doing like a cheat, set up to it and jumping off that right leg, but now you gotta swing off the right leg and kick with the right leg. So good luck, uh, stepping it forwards. Again, once past that base leg, turn it, pull it across like a crescent kick, and that's gonna pull you into the spin so you can snap that round kick. All right, so try some of these. Take that step up. Swing, even if you can just hit that chamber. And remember, wherever my head looks, my chest is gonna follow. So as I swing up, turn the head, and look for your spot. Your body's gonna come around nicely. You'll hit that kick off a bit. So stepping up, swing, look. All right, even if you can just get there, try to get that base leg down. That's what I'm looking for. Swing up, turn, and base leg. There I kind of went two feet. Um, that's, a, that's a good way to set it up. My spin was off, but I want to really land that one foot and be comfortable. Again, mine, mine definitely needs some work. That's what going through it, teaching you guys um, is a big help to me too. Helps me kind of pick apart my technique, pick apart what I'm doing. Maybe I don't like how I'm bringing it in. Maybe I don't like my balance. Uh, I find stuff about it too, and that helps me then teach it even better. So give me a few more of these. Swing it up and around. There you go. Uh, if you can try to get that kick out, you can uh, go for it. Just be careful landing. Uh, if you don't have a nice padded, comfortable carpet surface, there's no mats. Careful on the hardwood floor right there, you wrestling. Um, do what you can. Just hit that spin. Up and kick. See, so yeah, I'm kicking gophers. I was, wasn't laid back enough. Kick. Oh my goodness. There you go. All right, so give me one more of these, even if it's just that spin, whatever you got. Bring it up. Kick across. Oh, see, I don't know if it's just today. My back foot's not landing right. All right, so let's go ahead and move on uh, so I don't pull off any more ugly kicks on camera. Um, so let's move on to that cheat seven double. Uh, we're going to start, if this is where your level is, at the beginning of this. That's fine. I'm not going to push you guys to pull out that second kick. But even if you're just working on that first tornado variation, taking that cheat up, and if you can just kick across, that's perfect. All right, that's such a good setup for it. So obviously we have that outside crescent from that tornado where I can land on that, where it's a true cheat. And I can pull off a tornado, kind of like a tornado phalong, the crescent round kick. Um, or if I'm going for the 720 double, I'm not going to land on that leg. I'm going to pull it across. All right, so when I come up, instead of reaching up and around and down, I'm going to pull it straight across. All right, I still have that little bit of curve on the end. What I'm looking for is around, which would let me pull it to that second kick. All right, this one's easy to do in slow motion. Uh, you just feel like you're, you're a ballet dancer coming around, kick kick um, so that's a really easy way to practice a spinning all you do is add that jump then so start with just that first kick or the slow motion two kicks coming around up kick if you can get that and bring it around again you're set so for my cheat setup right here i'm bringing that left foot up and you can even just bring it through that same kick again if you're doing a slow motion if i just want the first kick and the jump bring it here jump Set it down, you can even land with the second kick. All right, um, this is a great way to work on your spinning. It's a great way to work on your landing on your right leg, uh, since you do a lot of cheat landing on our left leg. And then it's also great working on the hip flexibility and that pull of your crescent kicks. Um, that helps with your cheat, uh, or not cheat, your pop threes, pop crescents where I'm coming across. Up, kick, if you want to bring that one down a little faster, this is going to help all those muscles. All right. I got a hair in my eye. All right, here we go. So work that cheat seven double, taking that cheat set up, 
pulling across, and you can slow motion pull it again, work the jump, work whatever you got. Um, this is one that you just kind of kind of build up into. Um, so just get used to it. Same thing with that swing round. They're weird tricks. They feel cool, but they're weird. So just gotta practice them. Get used to it. So taking that set up, kick, bring it across, kick. All right. What I just did there, that's perfect for your first few attempts. If you're getting that far, you're doing awesome. If you're not getting that far, no worries. Just work that first kick coming up, kick, right? And then if you can turn your head, find your second spot, you can even just throw me a hook kick, right? Same thing. It's the same as doing two kicks. So breaking down, super simple, coming up, kick one, sit that foot down, reverse hook kick two, all right? There's my cheat seven double in super slow motion. If you can spin, if you're on hardwood like your uh, your wrestling here, say you got socks on, you could sit here and just spin your way through this kick, right? Just use your arms a bit. Have, have somebody, I don't know, pull your little string and wind you up or whatever. Um, you can do that. If you got the, the um, oh, I lost my words. If you got the, the I got nothing, let's move on. Okay, so get doing your 720 doubles, coming up, kick across. You set down in that reverse hook kick. Again, these are going to be nice linear kicks. They're coming straight across versus the up and circle because you got to keep that spin going. There is another level of this, the hurricane kick, I believe, which is three times around, three kicks. So coming up for my cheat, I've got one, two, three kicks. All right. That's a much higher level kick. Uh, I myself am nowhere near that but it looks super cool. But in order to do that, you've got to have that pull straight across from the hips, being able to twist from that kick, all right? Uh, there's plenty of other kicks that use this. Uh, you have your, um, uh, I think it's a Crash Moons, I believe, where you've got your crescent kick going up and you pull it to that hook kick coming across, all those. We use the same hip motion, so this is a great base kick, all right? Uh, if you're still going, give me one more. I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna try to throw it completely. Take my set up, cheat up, kick with the jump, pull off the second hook kick. Um, now, it's, uh, before I move on completely, that first kick can come across as that crescent, but if you're not high enough or you don't have the control, that second kick, uh, not even if you're not high enough, second kick's most likely gonna be a hook kick because of the way you're gonna pull it across. When I kick up, when I land, I'm going to turn and pull this one versus staying straight up because um, that's kind of awkward to combo out. So uh, last ones, two, seven doubles. I'm going to give you one more and we'll move on to this kick combo. All right, yeah, here we go. There we go. I didn't kick anything. We're doing good. All right, so get a quick drink. All right, kick combo time. So. This is going to be all dependent on your level, all dependent on your space, what you're comfortable doing with. Um, obviously, we don't have mats. You might not even have a padded floor. Um, I've got at least a thin layer of carpet. It's not the softest carpet, but it's going to work for me. Um, I'm going to shout out some kicks. I'm going to give you guys ideas. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, it's going to be like uh, the Build-A-Bear of... Uh, stuff you're not here with me so I can't sit there and just um, I can't watch what you're doing and give you ideas but I can shout all your stuff out put the stuff here up here on the wall let you see it all and you get to pick and choose throw stuff in throw your own stuff in doesn't matter so um, I'm gonna start off again on four kicks you've got ground kicks you got back rounds you got reverse hooks all right you've got if you're drop kicks you've got front sweep you got back sweep Again, those are coming across just like my ground kick, front kick and hook kick, or my round kick and hook kick, but I'm just putting a hand down and I'm dropping my body weight low. Um, you've got those if you want your level changes. I will accept those. I know your hands touch, but it's not on your hands. You're using them for balance. It's still mostly a kick. So you have your ground kicks, you have your sweeps. Then a level up from that, I go to my jump kicks. I've got jump back leg round kick, jump 180 round kick, up. I've got jump 180 hook kick across um, that's your next level of your kicks that I've got my your I'm gonna talk about cheat kicks completely separate level up from that would be my jump 360 round my pop tornado where I'm set 
right leg forwards, jump, turn, right leg kick. I've got my 360 hook for my left leg forwards, and I've got to jump the whole way across to my left leg hook kick. You can take it a step further and go 540 round kick, or pop 540 round kick, which isn't the 540 um, cut across where you're landing on it. This is just the, in terms of how much you're spinning, uh, in, in terms of how many degrees you're spinning. There we go, that's the word. Um, for, so I pop back leg round kick, which is my 180. If I take that and we'll make it 540, I gotta add a whole spin. So I'm facing this way, or my body's facing that way. I jump whole way around, kick, right? That's 540 degrees. If I do that with hook kick, same thing. My jump 180 is here. So I have to jump up, spot, and around to my kick. Um, I don't think we've done anything past that. I don't even know if we got there, but those are ones you can do. Um, that's just leveling up your pop kicks. And we have our cheat kicks. You've got your tornado kick. You have all your tornado kick variations. We talked about the double round, the twist, the split, the crescent round, the crescent crescent, the uh, single crescent. Now you've got the 720 double. You've got your 540. You've got your 720. Um, you've got... I don't even know. You can get you can do so much out of these. Uh, you could style it however you want, and you could do tornado. Uh, I don't know anything you think about with tornado kicks is uh, viable from your cheat kicks. You've got your swing kicks, uh, which we've only talked about. Our hot hook. We have our tsunami, and now our swing round kick. If you feel comfortable with it, um, probably not yet unless it like clicked for you. I don't even feel that comfortable putting them into commas. It's a weird kick. Um, some days are good for those, some days are just not good. Um, so you guys have all those kicks. I know it feels like you haven't done many kicks, but you got variations. Now you have all your pop kick variations. Uh, I didn't even mention you have your pop threes, your pop crescents, different landing stances. Um, you've got a uh, pop round kick. Any of your tornado variations can be put straight in your pop 360 round, um, your pop tornado variations. Uh, so you have all those at your hands, at your fingertips right now. So I want four kicks. I'm gonna give you some examples. I'm gonna do some. I want you guys to pick whatever you got. Start with what you want. End it with what you want, as long as it's a strong ending. Heck, you could even throw a butterfly kick. I, that, that's acceptable. That's a butterfly kick, right? It's a hook kick. Um, if Christian's watching, um, aerial hook kick, definitely a thing, as long as you don't put those hands down. Again, we're staying off our hands. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Uh, I'm gonna start my first one. We talked about our hook kicks into our cheat kick, so I'm gonna do reverse hook kick, tornado kick, right? That's gonna be my start. Then I wanna I wanna end with something strong. So say I wanna end with my pop crescent. Maybe I wanna add, or maybe I wanna do pop crescent into I don't know pop or pop round pop crescent. I'm gonna do two pop kicks, all right? So reverse hook, tornado. Uh, wait, out of my tornado kick. So how am I landing? I'm gonna land here. I'm gonna do pop 360 round, set it down right into my jump. I'm gonna do a jump crescent. I'm gonna do my pop three. I'm gonna try to get to that two foot landing, all right? So reverse hook kick, tornado kick, pop tornado, pop 360 round into my pop three, pop crescent. All right, good luck. If you wanna try that one with me, I'm gonna walk a bit slow, do it fast, and then I'm gonna move on, pick a new combo. You guys start working on a combo, start thinking, how do I want to start it, how do I want to end it? Um, this one's on you guys. If you're watching on YouTube um, and I can't see you, I'm going to be watching Zoom as much. I'm going to watch, I'm watching Wrestle here. She's crushing it. Um, she's already going. She, yeah, she's on hardwood floor. Um, so she is like, I don't know, she's a level above me at the moment. I, I'm on soft carpet. I'm enjoying myself here. Um, so props to her. Um, but if you're on YouTube, Film your combo, all right? Send it to me. Find a way to send it to me. Send it to Miss Sanchez. Hey, can you pass this on to Coach Jay? Uh, it'll make its way to me eventually. Uh, film it. You, I don't know if you have me on social media, find me there. Um, send it to me. I'd love to see you guys with these kick combos. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on, uh, love to see it. So let's get going. Reverse hook kick, tornado kick, pop, th uh, pop three six round kick, and a pop three. I walked through slow, so I'm taking a reverse hook kick, setting it down again. I'm starting my chest that way. Out of my pop or out of my hook kick, so I can turn, get more twist up to my tornado, set it down. I'm gonna pop round kick, set that one down, 
pop crescent, two foot landing. And I'm gonna do my best not to give myself a concussion by hitting the ceiling. We're gonna see what happens. So first hook, tornado, pop 360 round, pop crescent. Sorry, I say it a lot. That helps me kind of think about it. Gets my body ready. So I'm not saying it again, here we go. Bam, there we go. That one felt pretty good. My pop 360 round was a little bit more tornado kick-ish. Uh, I didn't take off like I wanted to. That's fine. Doesn't matter, it's still a kick combo. All right, number two. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with pop kick and with a nice tornado variation. In the middle, I don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna do pop 360 hook. So I'm gonna take my step back into this one pop up, hook kick, uh, let's see, out of that, I'm gonna go hop over hook, pop hook, then I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, pop 360 round, and I'm gonna do tornado split kick, no, tornado twist kick, yeah, all right, so, uh, pop 360 hook, hop over hook, pop, pop 360 round, and tornado twist kick. We're gonna see what happens. All right, walking through it slow this first time. Again, you guys are welcome to steal ideas from me. I'm saying these, if you just wanna do these with me, that's fine. We're gonna hit a lot of, a lot of kick combos today. Uh, if you've got one that you really like and you just wanna practice that, go for it. If you wanna change mine, but you wanna steal some parts, go for it. They're not copyrighted. You can do what you want, all right? Steal some of my ideas. I'm throwing them out there for you. I'm doing them for your viewing pleasure, I guess. Uh, so you can take Watch my technique, I don't care whatever you guys are doing. If you're not even listening to me, perfect. Do your own combos. Whatever you got, let's go. I forgot what I'm doing now. Pop the 60 hook, hop over hook, pop the 60 round, turn and split kick. All right, walking through it slow. So pop the 60 hook, up, hook kick. I'm gonna not pull that one too far through because I gotta set up, hop hook, across. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to conserve space too much. Hop hook. I'm gonna step across into my pop 360 round kick. Out of that, I'm gonna set it down right into my cheat setup, bring that leg up, and I'm gonna come up and split kick across. Not split kick, I'm not there yet. Twist kick. I'm not gonna have enough jump power to get that split kick out. All right, uh, so twist kick it is. Pop 360 hook, hop over hook, pop 360 round, train split kick. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Bam! That got so scary. I looked right up at the ceiling probably through. But we did it. All right, next one. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do two more. Cause I do, I gotta go and I gotta teach class after this. Um, so, next one's gonna be, I'm gonna keep this one low. All right, pull my sweeps. Uh, if you're gonna do front sweep, back sweep, two kicks right there, bam, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, um, let's see, jump 180 round kick, pop 180 round into my back sweep. No, 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 no. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this, hook, tsunami, bam. All right, there we go, I'm gonna do tsunami, front sweep, Back sweep, pop. I'm gonna try to pop split kick. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out here. So I'm gonna do a small tsunami. Um, so a tidal wave. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Still a tsunami. So coming up, kick across. No, that's not gonna work. Um, oh, I need something less hook. I'm gonna do a, a regular hook kick. Reverse hook kick. I'm gonna drop. Front sweep, back sweep, up, pop, split kick. That's gonna work. All right, let's do this slow. So, starting off, regular hook kick, reverse hook, drop down, front sweep, back sweep. I'm gonna have to conserve my space. And as I come to that back sweep, I'm gonna use it just like it would a reverse hook kick to set this up, keep my chest this way until I'm ready to jump. And set, I'm gonna pop, turn, chest first, turn my hips, I'm gonna try to stick out my two kicks up there. Uh, if it doesn't happen, 
I might get one kick out and just have to cheat my landing, uh, but we're gonna try. All right, so reverse hook, front sweep, back sweep, pop split kick. Oh boy! Here we go. I need to catch my breath for a quick second. Again, steal some ideas. Do them with me. I don't care. Do your own. Uh, as long as you're doing some kicks. Here we go. All right. So first hook, front sweep, back sweep. Pop. Oh, there's an ugly pop split kick. And something cracked in there too. Ooh. All right, I'll, I'll take it though. They're bad sweep, bad pop kick. Um, but there's a combo if you want one. All right, next one, last one. I'm gonna make this one fun. I'm gonna put all my level changes. I'm gonna try to make try to try to make it as cool as possible, as smooth as possible, as fun as possible. I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit. So I'm gonna do. Oh gosh, I'm gonna run out of room. I'm gonna do cheat seven double, one two, into. No, 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 I'm going to end with my cheat 7 though. I'm going to do Tsunami, up, drop, reverse sweep, and I'm going to come up, Tornado, uh, let's see, I'm going to do Tornado, I'm going to do a regular Tornado Kick, because I got to I think so. No, I'm going to do Tornado Twist Kick, because I like that one. Tornado Twist Kick, drop down, cheat 7 double, across. This is going to be awful. I'm probably going to kick the wall over there, but it's the last comment. we got to go for it, right? Uh, I'm going for it. You guys be careful. Watch your space. I, I, may, I make jokes about hitting the wall, hitting the ceiling. Please be careful. Um, again, this is tricking in-house, not at AMA where you got plenty of room and mats and soft things around you. So be careful. Watch your siblings, watch your parents, watch your pets, watch your uh, goldfish. I don't know. Careful. Watch out for stuff. All right, <clears throat> so, Tsunami, Reverse Sweep, uh, Tornado Twist, into Cheat 7 Double. Good luck if you're trying it with me. Good luck to me too for trying this in, in the house. It's probably, probably one of the more extensive combos I've done in here. The history in the making, I guess, here we go. Uh, I forgot what I'm doing already. So I'm gonna walk through this slow. I've got Tsunami, Back Sweep, Tornado Twist, Oh, that's not going to happen. I can't do Tornado Twist there. All right, if you guys run into this, sometimes I think of a comment, I'm like, yes, it's going to look so cool. And you walk through it, and you're like, no, that's not happening at all. Because out of that twist kick, I turn too far out, and then I've got no power to set up two spins and two kicks. So instead of Tornado Twist, I'm going to do, let's see, I've got my reverse sweep. Um, reverse sweep. Ooh, there we go. How about reverse sweep? This is going to be an all hook kick combo. No, I need a round kick. Reverse sweep, I'm going to do pop 180 round, cheat 7 double. That's what's going to have to be. It's going to be a small pop, pop 60 round because I want to save that power for that cheat 7 double. Here we go. I'll walk through it again. So now I've got Tsunami up, reverse sweep, pop round, and cheats. I don't like that one still. All right, I'm going to do three kicks. I'm going to shorten this down to three, I know. It's going to be Tsunami, Reverse Sweep, Cheat 7 Double. Here we go, last try, because I am out of time. Here we go. No walkthrough, I'm doing it. <clears throat> Good luck, I want your last combo too. Whether it's with me, without me, whatever you're doing, yours, mine, half mine, half yours. Uh, all mine, not yours. All yours, not mine. I don't care. Let's get it done. Tornado. No, not Tornado. Uh... Tsunami, reverse sweep, cheat seven double. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Kicked so hard it went out of frame. And we're back. I'm done. That's it for me. Uh, didn't hit the ceiling, didn't hit the wall, didn't fall on my face, didn't break anything. I'm gonna consider that one a big success. Um, I'm gonna sit down for a second, talk to you guys. Talk to one person. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, uh, I've got a little challenge of myself, for myself, um, doing what I can in the house. Uh, I know it's kind of hard. Um, tricking in the house is just awkward. I can't do flips in here. Um, I can do like one or two, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit the ceiling on most of them. I, I don't have room to set up 
And you know, like I don't think Christian could do his round off backhand, spring back tuck in house. Uh, I'm sure he wants to. I'm sure he's thought about trying. I know he's thought about trying. Um, but doing what I can here, doing what you guys can. I'm super proud of all you guys. Um, our combos are coming along. You guys are looking comfortable, even at your own houses, um, even on a hardwood floor. You're actually. I don't know how you're doing that. That was scare. I don't know. I'm not comfortable doing that on hard surfaces. Um, so keep doing what you're doing. My little challenge for myself, I'm trying to see, I'm pushing the limits of my little basement here. Um, what can I do in it, right? That's my question every time I come down here for tricking class, every time I come down here to, um, I don't know, uh, not necessarily do forms because I know what I can do with forms um, or sparring. Like that's, I don't know, I'm pushing the limits of my tricking in the basement, um, doing it safely without hurting myself. I'm watching the ceiling, I'm watching the walls. Um, it's a little challenge just for yourself, for myself specifically. Um, push yourself, right? Um, you're not getting any better if you're not pushing yourself. I'm not saying go and tear up the house, smack your cat around with your foot. Um, be careful, of course, but push yourself a little bit. Let's learn some stuff while we're stuck. Uh, and we're getting back to AMA soon, hopefully. Uh, we got plans to start teaching at there again, teaching in there, streaming from there. Um, you guys might be able to make it back. Then. I don't know, a month or so, depending on how everything else goes. So, uh, keep with the emails, keep with the classes, keep with the stretching, keep with the working out, keep up with joining me with my wonderful uh, Zoom call of one person. Thank you, Wesley. I appreciate it. So, uh, other than that, I'm all done. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns? Anything? Nothing? All right, perfect. So, you guys, you singular person, have a good day. Everyone on YouTube, you also have a good day. Hope you guys are staying healthy. Uh, and peace out. I think that's all I got. Bye-bye. And you two people, you just got it all there too. Uh, peace out to you guys. Uh, you guys have heard the news from me a thousand times. So, bye to all you guys.